Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is the Hierophant. Death card, the lovers, and the tower. Four powerful major arcanas. Your person's energy is the temperance, six of cups, five of swords, knight of swords. Meeting energy is three of cups, two of pentacles, king of wands, five of pentacles. Two of Cups, our focus, Page of Cups, it can be an apology, it can be too small and too late. Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. A harsh conversation because someone can go away. It can be some of you guys. Your person is not willing to go down easily. They will try to fight to keep this connection alive. Um, there can be little ones involved if we follow the Six of Cups. We are talking about an affair, guys. And so, uh, now an established connection that can even be a marriage if we follow the Hierophant uh, can be on the line. Friendship. Uh, this can be about someone close to the two of you. This person can even say, look, mm, that person doesn't mean anything, you know, they are just a friend. I didn't do anything. All right, maybe. Divine Feminine. I would say someone that was open to take care of a connection but also someone that when they realize that they have been taken advantage of can decide to to go away strength card and reflection which is kind of interesting because if you resonate with this uh, challenging scenario guys you can even say in a Queen of Swords way that if the tower is falling apart, this is just a reflection of certain actions that your person has manifested in the recent past, kind of pretending that nothing was happening when in reality they were truly harming the connection. There is something better. This can be something that you can think about or something that your person thought about when they decided to pursue a side connection. Communicate clearly. Oh, I am not concerned with that. And let go bottom of the deck, guys. On point, it is. If you decide to change the landscape of the situation following the death card, it's because uh, this can be a decision from the heart after a sudden realization that a committed partner has betrayed you out of ego. They kept you in the dark in some sense. If we follow the five of pentacles, no contact. The situation has been playing out for a while, Two of Pentacles. This person enjoyed it, King of Wands, Three of Cups. Love has been neglected, 
memories cannot save this person, even if they try to say that it's possible to fix the situation. When they realize that you are willing to let uh, the tower fall, they can fight, especially if there are little ones involved. So let's find out more, guys. It is a challenging situation, this one. So, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, tricky, problematic combination. It can be about harsh words, discussions, uh, truly words that can hurt. So it's like, not just the betrayal, but also the words and the explanations, the justifications, it's like uh, adding insult to injury, you know? And so, Ace of Swords, Sun, Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Combination of energies that speaks for itself. Coming clean, it's possible, but maybe because you can call them out. The Sun, everything is out in the Sun, so an affair becomes a reality all of a sudden. Three of Swords, what the man in the Five of Swords uh, can bring to the table. Ten of Pentacles, what can be at stake following the Hierophant. If for whatever reason, guys, you are not married, but you are hoping uh, for that type of opportunity, you will have to rethink about that. This person, somehow, some way, can try to put the blame on you. The audacity, I would say. They can do that, especially if this is a marriage, because they can say, look, uh, I have done what I have done because I couldn't find something in our connection anymore. And that's why I have looked for it elsewhere. Wow. Amazing explanation. That's why some of you can truly uh, let the tower fall to the ground. Truly adding insult to injury. What about the temperance six of cups combination? Again, memories, little ones, or a friend following the oracle card. Ten of Wands, The Last Mile, Knight of Swords, Magician. They took action on purpose, guys. So sorry to say that because this is truly um, an unfortunate situation. This person took action because they wanted to do that. Um, they truly pretended that they were doing nothing, you know? It was nothing. It's okay. I can handle the situation. Especially if there is truly someone close to the two of you that was involved in this uh, circumstance. Uh, they can try to hold on to the connection until the last moment. And they can truly fight. What about you? Hierophant death card first. A bunch of cards, so quite a lot to say. High Priestess, counterpart for the Hierophant. You can pick the energy that can resonate with you the most. Uh, the High Priestess can evaluate that a counterpart was not uh, faithful, um, or vice versa. The one that kept uh, secrets has to be called out. Either way, the situation is going away. Seven of Pentacles playing out for a while. The Two of Pentacles, the Cycle, the Loop. Two of Swords, a choice. Also a protection mode, because um, basically we cannot trust this person anymore. Justice, it can be about a divorce. Wheel of Fortune, a matter of time. It's over. It is. What about the Lover's Tower, guys? Because the decision to let the tower fall can be a choice from the heart for some of you. 
as difficult as it can be, I can understand it, but if it happens, a situation like this one, we have to handle it the best we can. Ten of Cups. There was love on your side for this person. There was the idea that there was something good. Chariot. Success. A desire for success in the long run swept away all of a sudden. At the same time, for some of you, the encouragement um, to hit the road in order to find elsewhere the Two of Cups energy that can allow you guys to achieve the level of emotional fulfillment that was not possible to find in this connection anymore. So in the meeting, in the meeting, I am curious about the Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles, King of Wands combination of energies because it can describe truly a cycle, a third party situation playing out for a while because someone has taken action out of lust, pleasure and desire. King of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, taking action behind the back of a partner, guys. If the King of Pentacles, King of Wands is your person, they took action behind your back because you can be the man in the Three of Wands or the woman in the Three of Wands. So it's like you were paying attention to other things and they truly took action in an unfaithful way, regardless of the level of commitment that is involved in the situation. Lies, betrayals, deceits. That's why when things come to light, some of you can say, what's going to happen is just a reflection of your own actions to your person. So guys, five of pentacles, two of cups, what a contrast. Chance to grow together with a special person, feeling left out in the cold. Shaky foundations. That's why the tower can fall to the ground. Realizing all of a sudden that the person by our side is a stranger. Who are they? Why did they do such a thing to us? Here we go. Queen of Swords. Swinging the ace with grace and comfort. Full. Your person can ask for another chance. They are not going to get it. Eight of Wands, conversation. Not pleasant because uh, it can see as a topic the affair that this person pursued. The Fool for me can be the man in the Eight of Cups. Uh, from the secrets of the moon, who is involved also in the Two of Swords energy that you got, to the sun, finding out the shenanigans of a partner, even of a spouse, calling them out, communicate clearly. There is something better indeed, because there can be someone better than an unfaithful uh, partner. We have to let go, guys. It can be difficult, especially if there are little ones involved, if there are uh, practicalities when it comes to a marriage that has to end. You have to find within yourself the strength to power through a situation like this one. I just want to say that for me, as challenging as the energy can be, the tower, it can still represent the path to the star. The chariot can be guided by the star. And so it means that some of you can truly make a wish when it comes to the opportunity to um, wrap things up 
about this connection so that you can grant in your own favor the chance to find elsewhere the type of fulfillment, happiness and joy that this person took away from you. Um, it's unfortunate. There can be multiple reasons. At the end of the day, if we realize that we cannot be anymore with a partner or a spouse, we have to handle the situation and then uh, as soon as things are settled, we can even evaluate the reasons that kind of worked as a catalyst in order to maybe make some adjustments um, when it comes to future opportunities in the romantic arena. But first we have to handle the situation and some of you will have to do that the best you can. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.